Outback field of just over 30 crews lining up to contest round two of the WA Rally Championship. This is the trade hire Donnelly Rally, the roads a favourite of the teams, fast, smooth and flowing, nine great stages of rallying to be tackled. Defending outright champions Stone and Drury to be a no-show, the damage sustained on the Quit Forest Rally still being attended to. Front runners Hines and Percival also in the wars on round one. They'll be playing catch up after only scoring points for the win on heat two. Electrical issues resulting in a DNF on Saturday's heat. Yeah, yeah, Ferndale got us again at the Forest Rally second run through. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I, mean, I enjoy driving the stage, but we just seem to have a mechanical issue uh, in there each year. So it, it is a it's the toughest stage of the Forest Rally, so you know, that's why it goes. His potent WRX and aggressive driving style well suited to this area. Yeah, road conditions are perfect, you know, a lot of rain, um, the days leading up to it, so the surface is quite compact and there's a lot of grip out there and, and I love the roads, really fast, high speed roads, you know, you can throw the car around, have, have a great time and um, set some good stage times hopefully. After a brilliant debut four wheel drive run, Dylan King heads the title race. Second place on both heats, a fantastic start for this young charger. He'll be looking to prove his first up speed was no fluke and of course to bag podium points and maintain his championship lead. Platinum Automotive's Rob Webber and co-driver Greg McPherson will be looking to better their luck. A late problem on round one, denying this team a good overall result. Yeah, we had a really good uh, first heat. Uh, we're going really well in the second heat. Uh, I think we were running about third in, in the state uh, series. Um, unfortunately, in the third last stage, we had a power steering pump failure, which obviously with these things, you just can't drive without power steering because it also runs a power steering water pump alternator. Put the end to our rally. Um, that's motorsport, so we're back here. We've got the issue fixed, um, and hopefully we're in for a good result today. Looking forward to it. Back to the championship after a very long time away, former frontrunner Brad Markovic. His late model Subaru is certainly looking the goods. Markovic, no stranger to the WA roads, but will look to ease into his return. Yeah, it's been a uh, long time coming. Been just over six years since uh, the state championship before, so it's uh, nice to be back out here. Was uh, very excited to uh, find a vehicle that we could use and uh, decided to get a new Subaru and looking forward to this year's championship. Just trying to find our feet again, it's going to take a bit of time. Obviously this morning, uh, wreck your first time again for quite some time writing notes from scratch. Uh, but we've got, put a good pass down and very confident, uh, new co-driver as well with James. So uh, listen, we're going to have a uh, very exciting event, just uh, finding our feet and taking our time. Putting in a massive drive on round one of the championship, rewarded Raz Vlad with the win. He enjoys a slim points lead in the two-wheel drive WA series, one that will again be very hard fought. The well-sorted Fiesta lining up for this round, the championship and the hot competition certainly top of mind. Sean's really quick, uh, he's just I think one point behind us so really there's nothing in it. So we, we, we can't back off, we'll, we'll go out there flat out from, from the start. With the transmission jamming in gear late on day one and the gear stick coming away in his hand later, All-Star Garage's Sean Keating will be looking for a much smoother and trouble-free event than that of round one. A welcome addition to the family has meant a busy time between events, but not much work on the rally machine. Didn't do much car prep on the, on the car this um, couple of weeks off because I had a kid two weeks ago. So the car got some new tyres and a quick clean and out today with a standard gearbox and everything. So just race it as we did day two of Forest Rally. This event will also count towards the Clubman Cup Series. This end of the championship has been growing and growing the past couple of years, seeing a lot of work being put into developing the series. This now well and truly paying off. Here we are at Donnelly River and uh, we've got 13 entries in Clubman which is uh, a follow-up from the Quick Forest Rally earlier in the year where we also had uh, those sort of numbers so uh, certainly in terms of entries and uh, newcomers coming into the sport and people that have been out of the sport for a while coming back in, uh, it's working. Very pleased with the entries. Uh, we've got uh, 
a great range in the clubmans. We've got three or four clubmans that are really very competitive and are ready to move up to state. Uh, but we've also got uh, a, a great depth in the field. Uh, as another initiative, we're currently looking at uh, seeing whether we can introduce a reward system for the, uh, the people that are coming into Clubman, uh, just to encourage them to stay at it and uh, get up onto the podium uh, in a year or two. Former off-roader Hugh Harmer joining the Clubman ranks in his V8 powered Commodore. Long, long time ago, probably 30 odd years ago since we uh, pedalled the car, so yeah, a bit of fun for me and Wayne, we're just going to go out and find our way and feel our way out in the event and see if we like it, which I think we will, and uh, have a bit of fun. Current ARC frontrunner WA's Tom Wilde taking on a very different role for this event, co-driving in the Clubman Cup for his sponsor Nick Clements. Yeah, a bit of a first timer for me and, and it's going to be a bit of fun I think with Nick. I was, actually went yesterday and uh, bedded in the brakes with him and got a bit crook in about 5k so we'll see how we go. But I reckon I might be a bit a bit sick today but should be should be a bit of fun and it is helping out Nick from Brander Apartments who's obviously supporting us this year in the ARC so anything I can do to help the guys that help us is, and, and the sport is good. Caution, turn right, three minus. Titans five long, then 50. Caution, turn right, three minus. Right, three minus. Harder on the brakes. 50, flat press. 30, right five long. 80. Ks of competition spread across three loops of three stages. Some early rain but in general great conditions and brilliant roads. Close battles expected up and down the start list. Three stages run, Pines in the lead, but not without his fair share of dramas. Wrong tyre choice and failing intercom, just part of the issues. That said, he put in a blinder on the long special stage three, winning it by 36 seconds and pulling out a 49 second gap overall. Seven right opens over bump, don't touch. It's a right four and a half, down, and flat left. 50, left five and a half. King and co-driver Lee Tierney continuing to show their speed as in round one quick and consistent second fastest across the openers they in turn opening a substantial margin to third place. Fifty right six left six right five on brow into left four and a half in Left four plus long, 50, and 50, caution, turn right four in. John O'Dowd another to keep the pressure on, clean runs netting him third place and a good gap back to fourth. The short left five. Oxley steering his impressor into that spot, another to put in consistent stages. Despite this slight indiscretion, Sean Keating came out swinging as far as the two-wheel drive battle was concerned. Fastest on all three runs, as well as an equal third outright on the first special stage. Certainly signalling his intentions, pulling a big gap on second place Raz Vlad. Flat brow. The Fiesta pilot ruining a slow start now a minute 30 down on the two-wheel drive lead. Slippery, 80. Short wiggles on flat brow, 120. The big news of these early stages would be the amount of cars out. Lea Tater, McElroy and Rob Webber all having problems. Jeff and Lee retiring in the section Weber struggling through with turbo issues, but eventually out with a blown engine.
SS1 would also claim the returning Markovic going wide and beaching the Impreza. He would eventually get going and back into the event to complete some more stages. For the front runners, the next three stages and the rest of the event resulting in holding station. Hines continuing his pace, although more problems in the form of suspension failure near the end of special stage four, that creating some concerns. He would manage this into service, maintaining a good lead and heading to the night runs in control. Gear selection issues on the late stages creating a scare and the loss of some time, however the gap big enough to take the win. Valuable points with the gap to the championship leader now much closer, a good start to his catch-up mission. Dylan King putting in a measured drive, consistent throughout and in the perfect spot to take advantage of any slip-up from Hines. Second outright for the event and importantly hanging on to the lead in the championship. Dowd and CSE cementing their third place, another staying in the groove across section two and the three night runs. The Pusey combination steering the legacy into fifth place with Oxley taking sixth on board his STI Subaru. Turn nine right, wide exit, slippery middle. Turn nine right, wide exit, slippery middle. Wide exit. 60. Third fastest outright and the quickest two wheel drive is the way Raz Vlad started section two. Grabbing back 10 seconds, the only good news, the next stage seeing a transmission issue developing. The Fiesta down to three gears, his fight reduced to getting to the end and banking as much points as possible. Achieving that, second two-wheel drive on the timesheets and the fight with Keating sure to continue on to round three. Fair to say that the Keating-Ash pairing were well and truly on a hot pace and not troubled on this event. Out of the box, super fast across the stages. In fact, on several occasions, serving it up to many of the four wheel drive runners. A trouble free run over the event, the Sylvia loving the fast flowing roads. The top spot in the category, maximum points, and game on for the two wheel drive state series. Getting it to the end rewarded the Whites with third two-wheel drive, Leo Eriks and Paul Vandermeer taking fourth. Club and competitors contested six of the event stages. In contrast to the state level, all 13 starters made the finish line. The Datsun of Steve Vass showed a clean pair of heels. He and co-driver Burton taking four of the six stage wins, the 1600 performing brilliantly across the event. Reward for effort for this crew, they now take a handy 28 point lead in the series. After a run of breakdowns, Carl and Tracy Rattenbury getting home to take second place. Dan Adams and Philip Warren Clark, another crew focusing on a finish, rewarded with third. 
Corolla of Nathan Pearce and Tammy Adams points for fourth place, keeping them in second outright for the series. The championship heads to Collie in WA's Southwest for round three. With outright campaigners Stone and Tostevin looking to return, the current pointy end battles are certain to intensify. Add the super tight two wheel drive tussle and the huge clubman field, this round another set to be a beauty.